The most important weapon to improve your skill on Halo Infinite is the Bandit Rifle. Since its release back in Season 3, it has shown up more and more as a starter weapon for most BTB game modes, as well as a frequent weapon spawn for Rank and 4v4. It is now just about as common as your AR or Magnum. However, unlike those two weapons, the Bandit has quite a high skill ceiling. What do I mean by this? It can take quite a while to get to mastery with this weapon, which also means in 1v1 situations, you often get the more skilled player winning, rather than what often happens with weapons like the AR, where both players die or one is left with extremely low health. With this knowledge in mind, let's break down the basics of the Bandit Rifle. First off, it takes just 4 bullets to strip the shields off your opponent. As it is with every other weapon in Halo Infinite, shielded opponents take the same damage regardless of the location of impact, be it their head, center of mass, or even a toe. Following this, the Bandit takes 3 body shots, or a single headshot, to kill an unshielded opponent. This is where there can be a huge skill gap. The Bandit punishes you quite severely for missing headshots. Think about this scenario. You have a Bandit, your enemy has a Bandit, and you're both unshielded. And let's say you have some crazy accuracy with the Bandit and your opponent doesn't. Your enemy hits you in the chest at the same time as you hit them in the head. You can kill your opponent three times over before dying yourself. The three body shots to kill is a horrible way to try and finish a fight. Instead, it's more efficient to be patient and wait. Maybe even wait the time it takes to get off two shots to just land a single headshot. The Bandit has a magazine size of 15 bullets, which gives you the possibility to kill three Spartans with perfect accuracy, or a little bit more realistically for most people, about two Spartans before needing to reload for a third. Bandit has little to no recoil until just about your 8th bullet, where it gradually begins to increase in distance between shots. This is, however, quite easy to control, as I'm sure many of you have played games with much more significantly difficult to control recoil. It's also important to note that you won't get de-scoped with this weapon when an enemy shoots at you. And of course, it's important to be aware of the difference between this weapon and others such as the Battle Rifle. You can miss a few shots with the BR and still deal some damage, mostly due to bullet magnetism. This is because it's a 3 round burst, meaning you can drag your crosshair through an opponent and land one or two shots. However, with the Bandit, a missed shot will get you nothing. You are heavily punished for missing shots just due to the nature of the weapon being a single fire. Because of this, the best way to use the Bandit is to have patience with the placement of your shots. This is especially true if you run into opponents who strafe around you. It's better to wait for the right opportunity to shoot than blindly fire at your opponent. If you can implement these strategies to your gameplay, you can easily win gunfights that may seem unwinnable. The Bandit is a very high risk, high reward weapon. If you can master it, you can easily break past your current ranked placement or just style on your opponents in big team battle. And that's just about everything I've learned so far about the Bandit Rifle. I hope this video helps you to improve your gameplay in Halo Infinite, and if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more like it. And as always, thank you for watching.